series publications of the Smithsonian Institution. Smithsonian Studies in Air and Space No. 2, United States Women in Aviation Through World War I, by Claudia M. Oakes. Aerial Photography from Fortation, visit fortations.com and www.fortationstore.com for more fine art photography. Help support this series by visiting fortationsdonations.com. Madeleine Moissant, the second woman in the United States to receive a pilot's license was Madeleine Moissant, Harry Quimby's best friend and fellow student at the Moison Aviation School. On 13 August 1911, she qualified for EFA, Aero Club of America Certificate No. 44. Her brother John was a famous exhibition pilot, and her brother Albert operated the aviation school. With Harriet, she joined the Moison International Aviators and made her flying debut at the Nassau Boulevard Aviation Meet, held 2430 September, as she soared to the then astounding height of 1,200 feet, beating both Harriet Quimby and Hon Detrieu for the Rodman Wanamaker Altitude Trophy. Though of small stature and rather frail appearance, Madeleine possessed a great deal of courage. For example, on 8 October, 1911, she foiled the attempts of the Nassau County Sheriff to arrest her for flying on a Sunday by the simple expedient of flying from one airfield to another and then driving away in a car before the sheriff could catch her. He failed to obtain a warrant for her arrest because the judge to whom he applied said he couldn't see why it should be wrong to fly an airplane on Sunday if it wasn't wrong to drive a car on Sunday. During the fall of 1911 and the spring of 1912, Matzold flew in various meets around the country. There was always, however, pressure from her family to give up flying because of the danger, which had been tragically manifested by the death of her brother John. She finally yielded and her flight on 14 April 1912 at Wichita Falls, Texas, was billed as being her last. It almost literally was as she landed. Her plane burst into flames from a leak, and the fuel tank spectators ran to the aircraft and pulled Madeleine out her clothes of fire. Her heavy tweed flying costume was credited with saving her life. After that incident, she did retire from flying, but during World War I, she was active in raising money for the Red Cross, her name still being well known. One of France's leading aviatrists, Anne Dutrieu, was flying in several U.S. air meets during this time, competing with Harriet Quimby and Madeleine Moissand, and impressing all who saw her with her altitude and distance flights. She had begun as a trick bicycle rider, turning somersaults in the air as her cycle was in motion. Her first solo airplane flight occurred in 1909, and her American debut took place at the Nassau Boulevard Aviation Meet in 1911. Back in Europe, she won France's Coupe Femina for the Women's World Nonstop Flight Record on 31 December 1911, covering 158 miles in 178 minutes. In Florence, Italy, she was the only woman in a field of 15 and beat all 14 of her male competitors to win the King's Cup in 1913. The French government awarded her the Legion of Honor for her achievements and for the glory she brought to France. She made her second visit to the United States in 1915, during which she tried to stimulate American interest in the Allied war effort. During World War I, she became an ambulance driver and later the director of a military hospital.